For me, I wasn't really aware of being into production as a kid, but looking back on it, you know, my dad was saying, you're very obsessed with the sound of records. I was always curious when I heard something, which I thought, how do they make that record? How does that sound? I remember buying Regatta de Blanc by the police. I was thinking it sounded like a great record. I was fascinated by the production without really knowing about it. I'm Danton Supple. I'm a producer and mixer based here at Strong Room Studios in East London. I love sessions where it's a whole band set up. So a lot of, when we cut backing tracks, I nearly always have the whole band set up, even if we're just primarily aiming for drums, just to get that dynamic and sort of energy to everyone so everyone plays accordingly. So I guess the ideal session would be when you've got that all up and running, everyone's playing brilliantly after you've done loads of rehearsals. Every mic line's working, every mic is working, there's nothing crackling and it's, everyone loves their headphone balances. And those moments where everything is beautifully set up and it's just hit it and record. And then basically you have a whole show for yourself. Even if I'm setting up, just get it and record. doesn't matter if, if we're not completely set up, you can always fix something, but a great performance or a moment, you kick yourself if it's, if it's not going down. What tends to happen is I have a sort of go-to set of recording setups. Um, but then in addition to that, I then just try random things. So that if it doesn't work out, I'm kind of going back to something which I know will Will make sense. Often it can be a mic where you put it up and go, that sounds great, and it's just nowhere near. It's not even the right mic, it's on the wrong amp or it's on the wrong bit of kit. So before moving things often, especially if I'm listening for a, uh, an ambient mic for guitars, I'll just put up some of the push-up faders of some of the mics that are already in the room. It might be a top kit, it might be a snare mic, it might be whatever. I'm not concerned about how it sounds nice, and in fact it might be wrong technically as to but if it sounds nice, then it's fine, move on. When well, I've got everyone set up, I want to better play music loud and it to sound great and then to be able to react to that. Because you do, there's a whole feedback. If it's sounding good, you play better and you're having more fun. Bringing in these 8351s that are here now, part of the reason for that change was that I wasn't always in this room. And previously I was working with uh, the 1031s with a sub, which sounds great. Again, for recording, it's a really a vibrant atmosphere and sonically sweet place to be. But for different types of music, more with the EDM crowd, we were, we were sending quite a lot of sub to our neighbours. It wasn't ideal for their working environment. So we were looking for something that would deliver that energy and power in the bottom end without having to actually use the sub. And then the whole thing of having a, more of a digital setup where you could adjust certain things, which was new to me, um, worked perfectly as well. We could tweak it so they were giving that bottom end energy for the, the vibe of recording in here. And then more importantly for me, when they were setting it up, they said, we can actually tweak them to sound a bit more like your 1031s. So uh, you know, we're happy on both sides. The, the softness I liked before, this is still has that warmth, but also it's, it's just, there's just a, a punch to it, which is noticeably different. For me, a lot of what I really enjoy about production is dealing with people and trying to get them to be the best they can be to perform the best they can. So a lot of it is that interaction and creating an atmosphere that creates that. One of the most rewarding things for me actually is when you get great performances out of people who are maybe less able than uh, others. They might not be the best guitarist, best singer, whatever. But with time and effort and you know work, you can come up with things which, which sound great. That's when uh, I'm having the most fun, I think. <laughs>